Tumor lysis syndrome is a group of metabolic abnormalities that occur as a side effect or complication while treating cancers. Due to the use of cytotoxic drugs, the cellular contents of the dying cells are released into the bloodstream which results in various metabolic problems. The four major problems are hyperkalemia which may lead to fatal cardiac anomalies, hyperphosphatemia which will lead to acute kidney failure due to calcium phosphate crystal precipitation. This hyperphosphatemia eventually leads to precipitation of calcium which eventually leads to hypocalcemia. Due to hypocalcemia there may be tetany, myopathy, sudden mental incapacity and emotional liability. One of the major metabolic problems is hyperuricemia. But one thing to be noted is hyperuricemia is not associated with gout or uric acid nephrolithiasis. Chiro Bishop grading is used to define tumor lysis syndrome. Potassium level of more than 6 mg per liter or more than a 25% increase. Uric acid of more than 8 mg per dl or more than a 25% increase. Phosphate levels of more than 4.5 mg per dl or more than 25% increase. Calcium levels of less than 7 mg per dl or more than 25% decrease. Two or more of the following criteria should be present to define tumor lysis syndrome. Clinically, increased serum creatinine, cardiac arrhythmias, sudden death or seizures are also included in the Cairo Bishop definition. The other definition being Howard definition is also used to define tumor lysis syndrome. The patients prone to develop tumor lysis syndrome are those who have elevated baseline creatinine, renal insufficiency, and those suffering from dehydration. Most commonly found in non-Hodgkin's lymphoma and leukemias, as these tumors are more sensitive to chemotherapy. Prevention is by giving prophylactic oral or IV allopurinol with adequate IV hydration to maintain a urine output of more than 2.5 liters per day. Treatment mainly depends upon if the acute kidney failure has occurred prior or after chemotherapy. If it has occurred prior to chemotherapy, uric acid is mainly washed out by rasburicase and loop diuretics and fluids are given. If the patient does not respond, then the only method left is hemodialysis. If acute kidney failure is after chemotherapy, it is mainly due to hyperphosphatemia and hemodialysis is the definitive treatment.